hi guys and welcome to yet another video setting adobe audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the zoom in uh, options and how to zoom in and zoom out into your uh, you know waveform or audio track okay one thing before i start this tutorial about zoom in one thing that i wanted to show you in the last tutorial but could not show it and i also forgot is that when let me zoom in a little okay in here let's go back to the start and i'm going to do the sound because we're going to play this track a little okay so if you go to edit and then go to preferences and then click on the playback option you have these options auto scroll during playback recording which it means that as you can see when playback or the player when it reaches the end then the next page or the next uh, place of the waveform appears but if you click on this option it says centered auto scrolling and waveform editor it means that when the playback reaches the play it reaches this middle place then it stays here in the middle and the waveform in the background continuously updates and moves in the background let me show you how it's done or what it means as you can see now our plate is remaining at the same place but our plate i'm zooming up there so it's slowing down and the waveform is moving around and it's continuously moving okay so but a word of caution this does take a little bit more memory on your computer but if you do are running very really low on your ram's memory then keep this option turned off here in the preferences playback and uncheck this place okay now before i also talk about a zoom in option let me tell you about these scales because scales are very important it scales that determine on the basis of scales that we determine how much zoom in or zoom out we are these are the scales of the time these are the scales of decibels and these are the hertz if you are looking at frequency if you are looking at pitch it will be different the, the notes of sound will be appear in here if you are not comfortable with these scales and in your school and in college you have learned different scales and now you are comfortable with that what you can do is right click on these scales and change them for example decibels are shown here but you do not want your amplitude to be measured in decibel you want it to be measured in percentage what you can do is click on percentage and now exchange from zero to hundred percent and you can comfortably work with that if that is intuitive to you okay and secondly you can change it uh, to simple and stuff like that when you change it to percentage as you can notice it starts from negative values then goes to zero then goes to positive values stuff like that but when it was in the decibel it started from infinity and then on both side it goes to zero so some people have trouble with this sort of scale so they can change it the same goes from here the spectral frequency view if you want to change it you just right click on it and then can choose for more uh, more logarithmic more uh, more linear or full logarithmic full, full linear that's how you can change these scales and also you can change the time sampling over here you can come here and if decimal is not very good for you you can change it to bars and beats and all these other samples now let me change to bars and beats now in the scale is changed to beats and how beats appear over the period of time i'm gonna change that way to decibel decimals okay now to zoom uh, our zoom controls first of all these buttons let me increase my sound back to the normal level actually not there every place okay and let me zoom in a little okay as you can see let me bring down my spectral view because we just want to show one thing at one time okay these two buttons they zoom in in amplitude if you click on this button your amplitude is zoomed in it does not mean that your sound is getting louder or your amplitude is in uh, getting uh, is increased or if you click on this button uh, that your sound or your waveform or the sound and the loudness is getting weaker and your amplitude is getting less it just zooms into this video okay uh, other than the difference with this one is that these zooms in in time as you can see the scales are getting wider and wider and wider okay seconds are dividing divided being divided into more smaller quantities you know we are still on 41 seconds and it is being continuously divided into more smaller units okay 
If you have zoomed in too much in amplitude or time video, then you can click on this button for which the keyboard short is control backslash to totally zoom out of uh, your waveform and see it full in full screen and stuff like that. Keyboard shortcut for zooming into amplitude and zooming out of amplitude is Alt plus equal and Alt plus iPhone keys. For zooming, simple zooming, only equal and iPhone keys are used. I hope you understand the difference between these. Okay, let me demonstrate this a little bit. Listen to the music. I'm gonna reduce its sounds a little because I want you to hear my sound instead of the sound that much. Okay, now listen to it when you play it. As, as I increase the amplitude, uh, I, I didn't increase the amplitude, I just increased the zoom in. Oh, and it, but it appears like I have increased the amplitude out of the roof. It did not get any louder. You, you might have noticed that. To increase its amplitude, we have to use this decibel bar or scale here. In here, we can zoom, increase its uh, loudness or amplitude, then the sound will get louder. Now when I play it, now it's going to be louder. Now as you can see, it was louder. Okay. Okay. Other than these buttons and these full zoom out button are these selection zoom in buttons. For example, okay, let me decrease its sound. And then let us zoom in a little and I'm gonna make a selection and I'm gonna go to some other place if I click on this button it's gonna bring me to the beginning point of my uh, selection okay like this okay let me zoom in a little bit more okay, like that and now let's go somewhere else if I click this button it brings me to the beginning or in point of my selection like this and if I click on the other one it brings me to the out point of my selection like this and if i click on this button it displays the entire selection that i have uh, entire place of the waveform that i have selected like this now the entire place of the uh, selection has been displayed other than using these buttons to zoom in and zoom out you can also zoom in and out in time by using the scroll wheel on your mouse and uh, you can uh, easily zoom in and zoom out with it but if you ever, you know, zoom in out or out, zoom in too much, then you can easily zoom out by clicking uh, this zoom out fully button, which is also in here and here it is found. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to talk about the zoom in option and how you can move around and zoom in and zoom out of your waveform to see it better and work better in editing and make your editing experience more smooth. With that being said, now I take my leave and uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial.